And welcome back. So now I've got my coaster program or my coaster model up here. And I want to program this in the extended work offsets. So if I go to setup and hit edit, and you go here to the far right tab on the post process, here's your machine WCS. We want to do the multiple offsets. Okay? Zero, one, two, three. G54, 5, and 6. Alright, 0 and 1 are the same. We went over that before. So here I want to do multiple offsets. Now when you do this, you have to change this to 1. You have to tell it that's your starting offset. And let's say we want to do 20 of these parts. So we'll put 20 in there. And I'm going to leave the increment to 1 and we'll preserve the order. Hit OK. So now what this is going to do is this is going to copy this file 20 times in the G-code. So if I have any changes that I need to make to this file, I can make it and repost it. And all of those changes will be saved 20 times. And I don't have to draw the model 20 times. So let's look at the code. So we come down here. Let's post the process. And we're going to say coaster 20. So we've already got that saved. We'll override it. So what I want to show you when I load coaster 20, there's our G54. So let's let's search for G5. So there's G55. 56, 57, 58, 59, now we get into the G59P7. So what is the P7? Well, in Mach 3, the P7 is the extended work offsets. Mach 4 would be G54.1P1. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. So if we keep hitting next, this is going to go all the way up. Should go to 19. 20. Okay, 20. So there's your 20 work offsets. So the G code is copied 20 times for you automatically. That's pretty powerful if you need to make a change, and all you do is you're saving it one time. So how do you use that? Well, in your software, in your mock, for instance, for any of your software that you're, look, that you're using, you want to look and see if they offer a fixture table. So this is the work offset or a table that lets you tell the software where every fixture is located. Only thing that it knows, the G code, is this number here, G54, 55, 56, 57, and so on. You have to tell it where these fixtures are located on your table. So since these are filled in, you can see here that we have all of our coasters are on the fixture. So there's our 20 fixture positions. So now we can cut all 20 coasters. If we have a change, we come here, make the change, repost the code, reload it into mock, and those changes will be spread apart in all 20 fixtures just by editing one time. So now I told you about mock 3. So let's go down here and let's load, whoops, let's load mock 4. So if you do a file in Mach 3 it will not be the same as Mach 4 so here's our fixture offsets there's our G54, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 well it changes in Mach 4 because it goes from G59 to G54.1 P1 so this starts your extended work offsets. So now, if we were to take the same file, hit this same file, and we were to post process this, we still have 20 selected. Let's go to Mach 4, and we'll do Coaster 20, Mach 4. Alright, so let's 
go to, I gotta find the folder here, because it's in a different folder. Coaster 20 Mach 4. So there's our G54. So let's just go ahead and search G5. So there's our G55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and there's our G54.1P1, just like we saw in Mach 4. So this is where it starts the extended work offsets. So this would replicate this part in Mach 4, just like it would in Mach 3. So now you can see, if you have a CNC router, and let's say you're making these coasters, and you want to make you know, 100 at a time, you can have this one file. You could come in here and change this to 100. Post that, and it would give you 100 instances of this part. Pretty cool. I like that. Well, that's about all I got for you for the extended work offsets. I appreciate you watching.